The music's gone somewhat out of tune for François Hollande since his election exactly one year ago. He suffered the sharpest fall in popularity of any French president in more than half a century. He beats Nicolas Sarkozy by attracting support across the political left and still argues against more austerity. But Sunday's protest by the Left Front coalition highlighted disillusionment among those who'd expected more radical policies along the lines of his promise to tax the rich more. He made lots of promises and then didn't respect any apart from marriage for everyone. Well, that's good, but there are many other things, so we feel betrayed. The right also demonstrated on Sunday against same-sex marriage, but also the other policies of Hollande's government. It's promised spending cuts and other market-friendly reforms, but for these protesters, they don't go far enough. In particular, he decided to raise taxes a lot, and he's made no savings on the state's budget, on all public spending. So I think that's really the main problem, the big mistake. Hollande's task is made harder by rising unemployment and an economy on the verge of recession. All heads of state and all heads of government in Europe are facing the same problems. Uh, that being said, uh, there have been problems uh, with his style, uh, his perceived inability, and more than that, his inability to bring together all of the diverse elements of his government. The French government has hailed as a victory the European Commission's decision to give France two more years to bring its budget deficit under control. That's unlikely to appease critics on right or left.